Hey guys, this is Engine one In this tutorial, I will show you how to flash an official SOC ROM of same or different region to your Samsung device. You are advised to watch the entire video because I will be explaining step by step ensuring 100% success rate. Before you watch this video, you have to meet two requirements. First, make sure your model number is SM-N960F or sm dash N960F slash DS. Any other model number will not work for this tutorial. The second requirement is, is the binary number should be lower than the SOC ROM or should be the same. Now to make it more understanding for you, let me just open up the SOC ROM which I have downloaded and you can see right here so it shows the model number N960F and then you have here the letter U with a number of 6. So this is the binary number which is number 6. So as you can see right now on my device the baseband number is U6. So I can flash the SOC ROM on this device with no issues. Now to make it more understandable and easy as you can see right now this is the firmware version that I got on my computer and on device. So already installed the One UI 2.5 on device just to make it more easy for you. This is the binary version, the U6, U5, U4, U3, U7, U8. Now let's say you have U5. So you can in fact flash this ROM. If you have U4 you can still flash it. If you have U3 it will work or lower than that it is fine. So if you have 7 which is greater than 6 then you cannot install or flash because it will cause bootloader issue. And if you have 8 or more greater than 6 then it will still will, will not work. So basically make sure that you have a binary number that is either same or lower than the binary version that you're installing. On your device, make sure that you have at least 60 to 70 percent of battery life, and then go to the settings, click on about device, software information, then tap build number seven times. If you have any pin of your phone or password, simply input that. Now you should see a new option called developer options. Now before you do anything, if your OEM unlocking is enabled by default, then you can skip through which will be mentioned on the top left. However, if your device shows as disabled, then by enabling it will reset your entire device. That means your data, everything will be reset. However, I will show you how to back up everything from your device. Now, if you don't see OEM unlocking on your device, then it is by default enabled, so you can skip that as well. Anyways, for those who have OEM unlocking disabled, make sure that you just go to the home screen and connect using a USB cable. Now, once you have installed the USB drivers and smart switch, make sure that you restart your computer. Once that is done, Simply launch Smart Switch and connect your phone using a USB cable. And here you have a couple of options. So it should show you the phone that you're holding and then you can press Backup. Now before you press Backup, you can press on More and then Preferences, then Backup Items. Now here you can back up everything that you need or the specific ones. Now once that is done, simply press backup and it will back up everything from your device. Now once you are done with that, then make sure that you shut down your phone, disconnect the USB cable. Now on your computer, just make sure that you downloaded the SOC ROM. The link will be on the description for all of these files. Now, once you have downloaded the SOC ROM, you should have these and also the ODIN. Now, make sure that you right click and run as administrator. Press OK. 
Now with your device, make sure that you connect the cable. Then immediately hold volume down button, Bixby button and power button simultaneously. As simple as that. So you can see here I'm on the download mode and then press volume up button. Now you should see a blue highlighted right here. Now press on BL and then locate your sock ROM and then just correspond it just like so. This may take a while, just once you click on it, just leave your computer alone just for two to five minutes and it should be responsive afterwards. Then press on CP, then CSC. If you want to format your phone entirely, then you can press this one. If you want to retain your files, so basically if you don't want to delete anything from your device, then click home underscore TSC. Now once that is done, just press start. So as you can see right now, I got the pass sign and you can simply close that and now you can just go back to your device and disconnect the cable.
So as you can see right now, just let me open up my device. So as you can see, nothing has been formatted. It's the exact same. So you can see all of my application are there, even my photos, everything. Anyways guys, do like, subscribe and comment below if it worked out for you. Also if you get a news that One UI 2.5 is released in your country, then you can follow the same procedure and just download the SOC ROM of your country. You will also get OTA updates without any issues.